Robinson's Land Corporation, one of the largest real estate developers in the Philippines and a subsidiary of the JG Summit Holdings Incorporated. Through the years, RLC has established a name in the real estate industry as it remains on top of the game in laying out the most well-designed and exceptional lifestyle spaces to the market. Its wide array of prime residential developments across the country has inspired many individuals to explore opportunities that provide a rewarding lifestyle experience. Being one of BCI Asia's top 10 property developers in the Philippines, RLC developments have been highly regarded by prestigious international and local property award-giving bodies. With close to three decades of experience in property development, RLC has made a legacy that is strongly associated with good value and high quality developments that our employees, customers, business partners, and shareholders can be proud of. It has evolved into a property developer that continues to draw interesting blueprints of fresh concepts that go beyond the ordinary. Concepts that have the power to make lives anew. Concepts that create a sense of fulfillment to families, professionals, and young investors. In the years to come, RLC is envisioned to reach greater heights as it continues to expand its widespread portfolio of innovative developments that have made a big impact in the lives of Filipino families. We are RLC. Your dreams, our foundation. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Meetups by RLC. I am your moderator for today, Haina Kunsina. And I'm happy to be your partner for this webisode. Now that you're here, do not hesitate to like, share, and make a watch party of this episode so that you, your friends, and families can catch up on this week's Meetups by RLC. In this time and age, the real estate continues to adjust to the challenges brought about by the pandemic. As more and more industries become accustomed to the new normal, real estate has continued to progress in terms of performance and success. The people behind the achievement are those who work and dedication and commitment to expanding the business realization. In today's episode, we will give you an overview on how our brokers network developed into an emerging marketing arm of Robinson's land. And now, live via Zoom is none other than the department head of Robinson's Land Brokers Network, Ms. Kai Castillo. Hi, na. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ms. Kai, and welcome to Meetups by RLC. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? I'm also feeling great and I'm actually excited for today's episode. So Ms. Kai, to start off our discussion, can you give us an overview of how Robinson's Land Brokers Network competes in the real estate game? First and foremost, RLC is a brand that speaks for itself, catering prestigious and award-winning developments. Yes, Ms. Kai, and to name a few, we have actually Amisa Private Residences as Best Leisure Development, we have also Sherry Valley Gardens as mixed use development. We have Sync for best residential development. And of course, Cirrus for residential high rise development. Right, Ms. Kai? Correct. As licensed real estate brokers, these professionals want to offer substantial properties, not only to satisfy their clients' requirements, but also properties that would be beneficial for their clients in the long run in terms of comfort, lifestyle, and property appreciation. You see, brokers are actually matchmakers. Um, nothing makes them feel that sense of satisfaction than to see their clients are ecstatic with the investments that they make. Second is service. Our team is composed of broker managers and coordinators who are dedicated to assist our broker partners. 
throughout the sales process. So they conduct broker orientations and product knowledge seminars. Um, they also assist in client presentations, documentation, and of mm -hmm. course, after sales concerns. This is actually the advantage of project selling or selling for developers since most of the real estate functions are already done by the developer itself. And now that we have, under, uh, we have been undergoing a digital shift, all our transactions are done online. Sky, just to clarify, we have managers and coordinators who can assist our brokers all throughout the home buying process. So say for example, I am a licensed broker and I have a client who is interested in one of the projects of Robinson's land. I can just endorse them to our managers, correct, Ms. Sky? Yes, of course. Um, usually, brokers we don't have so much time because they have to juggle so many transactions. Yes. All together, so we are basically ready to help them. All they have to this do is great. Is just let us know. So the broker managers or broker coordinators can actually assist them during the online client presentation. Good to hear that, Miss Guy. And given that what you have outlined for us, I can see that the brokers network has already transitioned to everything digital. It is important to note that business have started adapting to the new normal, thus transforming all business processes and practices to digital transactions. Can you share with us how your experience was transitioning to the digital age? Has it affected the way you work with your clientele? You know, even during the pandemic, the real estate industry has been actively gearing towards digitalization. Just last year, there were a lot of seminars regarding online selling and online marketing. So during the pandemic, real estate brokers were already at the stage of refining or improving their online skills. But one of the challenges for us during the stricter quarantine periods was the disruption of site visits. But of course, this was eventually replaced by our virtual tours. Miss Sky, given this current scenario, our clients don't need to visit our showrooms because with this virtual tours, they can still check and see the actual units of a certain project. Correct, Miss Sky? Yes, that's correct, Aina. Miss Sky, what about the application for accreditation? Okay, regarding the application for accreditation, it can be done through scanning the QR code, which is displayed on the official Robinson's Land Brokers Network page. Wow, this is great also. So all our interested brokers who want to be accredited will just have to scan the QR code and they don't have to go in the office to submit any forms. Correct, Ms. Sky? Correct. There won't be any need for them to go out of their homes. All they have to do is um, fill up the forms that will be given to them and submit all scanned documents through email. Our normal broker orientations, our product knowledge seminars, as well as client presentations are conducted online as well. Miss Sky, for this one and for the benefit of our viewers, say for example, I am interested to join the product knowledge seminar. How exactly do I attend the SEND activity? Do I have to sign up or will I be receiving an invite via email? Our broker managers and coordinators usually send out invites for these project knowledge seminars. So all you have to do is register so you can be included during the said events. And most importantly, the purchasing of RLC properties has been made easier with three steps. You just have to go online, meet online, and reserve online. So you see, everything can be done in the safety of their homes. Wow! So with just three easy steps, I can now have my dream home. That is good to hear, Ms. Kai. As real estate brokers would say, networking is their sales bloodline. And I think we can say the same to Robinson's Land Brokers Network. Can you share with us why brokers networks continue to be an emerging arm of real estate? How has your term expanded or maintained your network and sustained performance? Two of the important aspects in maintaining a relationship are trust and confidence. They need to know that they can depend on you because their clients depend on them. 
So we make sure that our broker partners are given dedicated and timely service in the same manner as brokers maintain their relationships with their clients. The broker's network continue to emerge in real estate because they are very professional and very proactive. Um, they have continued professional development, which helped them improve their skills and widen their knowledge of the industry. Now, they've embraced their career as a profession, and some have made it as their main business. Now, regarding the expansion of the network, as with the other types of networking, one needs to really reach out. Currently, some may say it's harder since we have restricted movement, but if you really look at it, almost everyone is online with a click of a button. Everyone is within reach. Couldn't agree more, Miss Sky, and I'm very glad to hear all these things. Now that we have an overview of Robinson's Land Brokers Network, how you adapted to the new normal, and how you were able to deliver despite the current challenges, it's the right time to jump to this question with our viewers. Why should brokers become accredited to Robinson's Land Brokers Network? As RLC broker partners, you will get access to award-winning developments in prime locations, bigger and bolder projects. We have a wide variety of projects to choose from, from RFO to pre-selling. Now, as RLC, we are a stable and well-trusted developer and we have competitive rates. Project selling is far easier to do than real estate brokerage. Most real estate functions are already done by us, the developer. Now, all accredited brokers need to do is familiarize themselves with RLC projects and processes so they can offer our end market our projects. So we have all the reasons to get accredited to Robinson's Land Brokers Network. And a follow-up question from your answer, Ms. Kai. What should our brokers need to submit so they can join your team? Our NDD broker managers will supply the brokers with accreditation documents, the broker information sheet, and the broker's memorandum of agreement. Now the brokers have to submit the following requirements. The photocopy of the following. The real estate broker's license and certificate of registration. That registration or proof of TIN, any valid government issued ID and photo with signature, the BIR form 2303, their official receipt, SEC DTI registration. Some additional requirements for institutional brokers are the Articles of Incorporation and Bylaws, and Secretary Certificate or Board Resolution. Ms. Kai, just a clarification. Can the broker submit all these forms digitally? Of course, Haina. They can just scan these documents and email them to the broker coordinators or managers. No need to go to the office. Those are well noted, Ms. Kai. And for those who would like to be accredited with Robinson's Land Brokers Network, now is the best time to join us. And to close off our segment, would you like to impart a few words to our viewers and to those who aspire to be a team member of Robinson's Land Brokers Network? As you have mentioned, this is the best time to be accredited as an RLC broker partner. You'll be adding award-winning developments in prime locations to your list of offerings, not to mention that your clients will be able to enjoy comfortable payment terms and great discounts. You will also be supported by a dedicated and service-oriented team so you can have a faster, easier, and rewarding sales experience. And that's it for our episode for today. Thank you very much, Ms. Kai Castillo, for sharing your time with us. Thank you also, Haina, and to all our viewers, please keep safe. Once again, thank you very much, Ms. Kai. This episode is definitely a must-share with your friends and families. 
I learned a lot from this session. And for all the brokers out there, I encourage you to join Robinson Land Brokers Network now. Once again, my name is Haina Consina, and thank you for sharing your time with us. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes and subscribe now as we release new episodes weekly. Only here at Meetups by RLC.